this is going to be a short video about arrays and we're going to start off by looking at what arrays are over here we have a one-dimensional array what that means is is that we have one column and we have many rows so the way we write this in game maker is it's a 1d array so we have the array name and then we have the value we're going to call that v here of where the array is so in this one dimensional array we have called it 1d array and where we have the x is what corresponds with what row this is in so for example if we were looking at this first spot here it would look like 1d array with a zero inside of these brackets if we move to row one, the second row or row one we would have row one here now it's important to remember that when we're talking about arrays they're indexed so that the first spot is actually zero the second spot is actually one now one dimensional arrays are called that because of this one dimension we can only add up and down we can add going down or subtract rows from our array in a two dimensional array we add the second dimension which is the width of the array so in a two dimensional array they're set up similar where the first part is the name of the array in this case we named it 2d array the second part where the values are we actually have two components the first component is again which row we're talking about just like in the one dimensional array the second component is which column we're talking about and we can add multiple columns and we can add multiple rows so in our example here with our 2d array our name is 2d array the first spot is one so we know that that's this row the second row our second value is also one so we know that it's the second column or this one column so our spot that we're adding or taking away or modifying would be this block here now let's look at how we can use these arrays we're going to go back to the one dimensional array so one way we could use this is creating a high score value in our game so if we wanted to gather the highest scores created in our game we can put that in a one dimensional array we could put the highest score at value zero or the first row and then we can have that cascade down say the first top 10 scores that we have in our game can be held in that array now the way we could use a 2d array would be an inventory system now we created a 2d array in the inventory tutorial that i just did i'll link that up top here but we can see that our first column or our zero column holds the item name so if we pick up an axe it would put the word axe in this first spot the second spot in the same row indicates how many axes we have so we only have one axe in this situation the second row or one zero we have wood and in the one one spot which is what we had down here we actually had three pieces of wood collected I've pulled up game maker and this is actually the tutorial that I just did on inventory systems and we used arrays in that inventory system quite a bit the way that tutorial worked and I'll link it up here in the top of the video but the way it worked was our player which is the green block as the player moves towards an object as soon as it collides with the object it's going to add it to the inventory and you can see it added to the inventory here and we can tell that this is going to be a two-dimensional array the first column is going to be the name of the thing that I picked up the second column is going to be how many of those items I picked up so I picked up the mall and I've got one mall I'm going to go pick up the axe I've got one axe when I pick up the piece of wood 
I now have one piece of wood. When I collect another piece of wood, it adds one to the wood. And then we can add the third one to the wood. Now, if you're interested in that, I did a whole tutorial on the inventory system. We're not going to get into that in this one. I just want to show you the arrays in the program. And I'm going to go up to the create event of the object player. And we can see here I created a global array. The array name is inventory. It's a two-dimensional array because I have two spots here. And I initialize my array by setting spot 0, 0 which was the first row in the first column to equal none. So the upper left hand square equals none. In the first row, the zero row, the second column, which is the one column, I put in a zero. So this is what it would look like in the array. The row zero column 0 would be none, row 0, column 1 would be 0. As I picked up inventory, these would change. So for instance, when I picked up the mall, none became mall, and the 0 became 1. The more items I picked up, the more rows I got. My column stayed the same. And we can see down here where I collided with my axe that I took my global inventory array. I set it the first row as a variable because I don't know which row it wanted to be on. I have that as a counter. But this first column I set as axe. And again, all of this is in that tutorial. I just wanted to show you the power of arrays, what arrays were, and some ideas of how you can use arrays in your game.